we'll talk about forms and ADF migrations. And actually more specifically, how the hybrid solution can be the best approach for you. So let's go through some examples. First, why the hybrid approach? Simply, most organizations don't have the budget or manpower to migrate large forms applications to ADF, and this is called the Big Bang approach. So to save budget and also manpower, you can actually migrate over small batches of forms over to ADF at your own pace. Now for some options of migrating over applications to ADF and running a hybrid solution, you can run forms within ADF, you can actually run ADF and forms applications through a portal, or open up ADF from forms as well. Now you can also pass data between the two forms and ADF sessions. You can have forms invoke ADF logic or ADF invoke forms logic through JavaScript integration. And lastly, you can have ADF invoke forms logic also through advanced queuing. Now, the last thing you need to consider is also security. Uh, definitely use Oracle Access Manager if you're considering any of the options above. This provides you the most secure method for accessing both applications. But if you don't have the licenses for it or the budget for it, you can definitely develop your own custom solution. This is an example of how you can have Forms and ADF integrated through JavaScript. So we open ADF through JavaScript from Forms. And say you want to view more details that are from on an individual train here, and I want to view it in the Forms application. Well, I simply just call Forms from ADF. And you see here on the left, we now have the train record of the item that we selected from ADF. Say you want to view another one. We can view that as well. So it's just another example of how really you can integrate forms with ADF. So I hope today's session was uh, good information for you. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact us, and we'll see you next time on the next video.